The second horse was a year older with a more experienced rider, um, but he had problems of his own, more temperamental than physical, um, struggled with pressure. Um, and therefore we've been taking that bit longer. You will see some seven-year-olds further up the ladder than him, but um, from his mental point of view, the rider has just taken her time to build up that trust and respect. Again, we use transitions. Um, it's the canter that the horse struggled with, although there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with his rhythm or his balance, mentally, you could hear him sneezing and, and getting tense in his canter work. Now this quite possibly before um, he came here, perhaps the flying change has been started a little bit too early and had wound him up. So whenever we start to approach any collection for a simple change, i.e. walked canter, canter, walk, he started sneezing and getting quite pressurized and upset. And in the past, he would drop a shoulder and spin round very quickly in those situations and want to run away. We've now got him over that through regular repetition and reassurance and as he's got stronger mentally and physically he's getting less and less tense. We would go back to trot canter transitions because he's a better trotter than a canterer and the trotting would almost be a little bit of a break for him. We use the shoulder in. I find that a really good go-to exercise no matter what level you're at to improve straightness, engagement, suppleness, contact between the inside leg and outside rein. Um, it helps with horses that are tense and spooking at things on their outside, gets the focus around your inside leg again. Um, so with that particular horse, the shoulder is actually a really useful tool, uh, a really good go-to tool to actually get him with the rider and engage physically and mentally. Medium trots we use just to get him a little bit more in front of the leg, but also the horse enjoys doing it and he's good at it. So it was used as a little bit of a forward reward. However, with a horse that's got a big medium trot, don't overdo it. It is one thing, if you over practice a medium trot, they will break and their tendons will go. So uh, if, they're, if they're good at it, you don't need to practice it that much. <laughs>